not of works, that any man shall boast. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Our Father, which are in heaven, Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you, Lord, for all of the blessings that you have already stored upon us. We thank you, Lord, for the beautiful, beautiful sunshine this morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Weather is so cool and nice. Yeah. Only God can prepare like that. Yeah. So, Lord, we just thank you for being a mercy of God. Yeah. You made us. Yeah. You made the whole world and everything that's in it. You know everything. You know what we need. You know what we don't need. So, Father, I just thank you for the tip to you today. Lord, I know every season has a reason. So, Father, I thank you, Lord, for letting me uh, be in the seasons. And then, Lord, I thank you for this church, my Herb Baptist Church, and we ask you, Lord, to bless us this day. Bless the preacher who's going to bring the word and his family. All of the heroes, we ask you to bless them to be able to understand and receive the word. Maybe carry it out into a dying world and tell the word that God is in charge. Uh, so I heard someone say that uh, uh, Trump is, is on the wall pad. And, but God is God. And God will be here when Trump is gone. So we can lean on God. And, because God will be here when we all are gone. Yeah. When this world has dissipated, yeah. God will still be here. Yeah. So Father, we thank you for being God. Yeah. We thank you for being so merciful yeah. upon us. Yeah. As we said in Sunday school this morning, God is patient. Yeah. But still God got his eyes upon us. Yeah. He knows when and what we need. And I just thank you for being God and being so understandable. Because Lord, if man had to, if man had to do for me some time, I would say he would let me down. But God, he's never. Sometimes he's a little bit late on, but he's never, he's never too late. Uh, he's an on time God. And I can say Hallelujah when he show up, and I know he's there. I can call him in the wee wee hour of the night. I can call him this any time. And you know, when you call your friend sometime and they say, leave a number and I'll get back with you. So I'm so glad that when I call upon God, he knows me and, and, and he know what I need and he know what I call him. And I thank him for, I don't just have to call him when I'm in trouble. I, I can be feeling pretty good. And, and I can just look up into the heavens and say, thank you, God. Thank you for another day, another day in journey. Lord, I thank you for every day. I thank you for the days that have gone by. And in my testimony, and I have said in the past that when the old men used to pray, say, you brought me from a mighty long ways. I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't understand it then, but now I can see it. That's my thing. <laughs> I can say it now. Yeah. He brought me from a mighty, a mighty long way. That's my testimony now. And I thank God for being able to live a long time. And have longevity in this world. And it's all right when it's all right. It's all right when you got God on your side. It's all right when you know that you can got somebody. That when you're in trouble, that can get you out of trouble. Yeah. It's all right to know yeah. that when you, if you, whatever your problem may be, yeah. you might be lonesome, but you got a friend. Yeah. You, you may be broke, but you got money. Yeah. Yeah. And, and whatever your, your your problem may be, God can solve it uh -huh. because He made everything, and everything was made God made. Yeah. And I just thank you, God, for being in charge of this world. We ask you, Lord, if it be your will, to bless yeah. Louisville, Kentucky, uh -huh. bless this yeah. neighborhood, Lord. Yeah. Bless the president, Lord. Bless all the elected officials who stand 
Bless them, Lord. Show, tell them that you is God and ain't nothing that they can do without you. So with you, everything will work out all right. Although I do know and I believe that there's going to be some trouble in our lives. It already been some trouble in our lives. But when we got trouble, all we when you call it. Uh, uh, one of the uh, one of the mayors or somebody down in the West End came down and said, "When you got trouble, call upon the Lord." And I, I and I agree with it. Right. We need to call upon Jesus, call yeah. upon Him, call upon Him right. Yeah. Don't call upon Him all of the good days, but call upon Him in the bad days, uh -huh. and then turn around and celebrate the good days, uh -huh. and then to thank you, God, for bringing us over. Yeah. You brought us, like I said earlier, you brought us from a long way. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how long your way has been, but I do know the road that I have traveled. Right. It's been good and it's been rough. Yeah. But when it was rough, God made it smooth. Right. Right. Hey, hey. Right. thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be accepted in thy sight. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.
go to possession. Bear thou mind the spirit of the Lord thy God, to keep all his statutes and his commandments, which I command thee, thou and thy son, and thy son's son, all the days of thy life, and that thy days may be prolonged. Hear therefore, O Isaac and Israel, and O observe to do it, that it may be, be well.
of and also of the 16th Bible State in prayer service at 6 30. August 20th, and it was Christian Day. Yes, we could. Reverend Father Clark Cleaver for Cleaver Williams. August 23rd, Bible State in prayer service at 6 30. Um, August 27th, the 11th, the Sunday. August 30th, Bible State in prayer service at 6 30. All of the week, some people created their own schools and then get mad with their rain. Are there any other announcements? I'd like to invite everybody out to Wednesday night Bible study. Uh, you're here now, right? Yeah. What excuse for not coming out on Wednesday night? Okay, if you justify within yourself, you justify within God. So, who am I to say? Secondly, um, all those who are going to Indianapolis in September, next Sunday we need to have a brief meeting.
was reminded that there is transportation Wednesday night. You can see Reverend Dula today and get it scheduled for your pickup. Thank you.
may you be built for our for your glory and for your honor, Lord, that we will use it to glorify you and to build your kingdom. And we pray, Lord, that you would continue to bless us and keep us in Jesus' name.
I took you from the ends of this earth, from this, from his father's corners. I called you. I said, "You are my servant. I have chosen you and have not rejected you. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand." Amen. Amen.
that is going to be coming with the divorce this afternoon, this morning, is my son, Tommy Burnett. And most of you know him. He's been born and raised in this church. His grandmother, Miss Mary Horton, he's a nephew of Pastor Reverend Billy Mitchell. And he has um, been ordained by Reverend Jerome Evans. So with that being said, he is also the founder of our church's church. And so he's been here since he was 20. He's been venturing and pastoring here throughout. And various churches at the time. He is uh, currently the chairman of Sun Valley Ministries. And uh, he and himself and my three sons all were raised and born in this church. And I thank Reverend Evans for giving him this opportunity to be here today. Amen. Amen.